the evolution of Godzilla. Now, I know my Godzilla fans didn't think I forgot about them, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just be doing a lot of different things. And, you know, I got my new project coming out. I got my own little studio channel. Just announced it like a couple minutes ago. So, you know what I'm saying? We be doing things. But don't think I'm not thinking about y'all. Regardless, though, hold on, let me find this video tab again. I'm sorry. I don't even know where this video. Uh, there it goes. All right. Anyways, today we got the evolution of Godzilla. Let's get it, chat. We ain't going to waste no more time. I'm waiting for them to show Showa. I need to see the RKO. Since being awoken by atomic bombs, Godzilla has lit up the silver screen. But his looks seem to be ever-changing. Starting with the original. All the Let's time. go through his... Which one is the original? Why they all look like crack babies? Wait, go back to that one. This one, that looked like the, the Debbie dad. But his looks seem to be <laughs> ever-changing. Starting with Yo, the original. Nah. Let's go through his theatrical looks and story. Animated. In his first ever appearance, Spoilers. Godzilla has small arms, thick legs, and dorsal plates I lie, Godzilla thick. Holy down his spine. His pupils are tiny, and he has people go to the Dominican Republic just to get that figure. Fangs and pointy ears. After attacking Japan, he gets disintegrated oh, to bone. A new gigantic, oh, whoops, I mean Godzilla, appears in Godzilla Raids again. Okay. This monster is thinner with lo oh, dang. longer arms, need to eat. a smaller head, pa pass Godzilla a plate and larger pupils when in close-ups his teeth appear to be jutting yeah, out sadly he's, nasty, he's buried in ice but in king kong versus godzilla he busts free he's now in color he's more plump toeless oh, and him way thicker God. A lizard-like head with yellow eyes no ears and no fangs he faces off against a giant no, no bro that's not what I am that's not my king kong like an orangutan Tumbling into the why does he have every no ears on, and no back. fangs? He, he has hair on every part of his body except his <laughs> okay. This is off against a giant ape tumbling into the ocean, only to be washed ashore in Mothra versus Godzilla. Now he's Mothra? slimmer, who's Mothra? Has a whiter head, white eyes, and smooth, shiny brows. Why are they always changing his look though? Why can't we just get like I mean, Godzilla just really like the big lizard, but. Dang. As his rampage continues, he gets covered in silk and again drops into the sea. But in Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, he's back. Now with a slimmer face and longer tongue. From this film on in the original series, Godzilla now defends humanity from more evil monsters. In Invasion guy. of Astro Monster, okay. Godzilla is thinner, his dorsal plates have more definition, his claws are dull, and his head is rounder. He shows off his new dance moves before briefly being put under alien mind control. Ibera, Horror of the Deep, gives Godzilla less angry brows. He battles against- Yo, he just be looking like he owns so much of everything. It's a big lobster, and narrowly escapes an exploding island. Why he soiree before he hop into water? Wait, go back. Rewind on that. Hey, yo, extra zest on the play. Go ahead. It's yeah. an exploding Sorry. island. In the sequel, Godzilla's <laughs> neck is elongated. He's pudgier, and his dorsal fins are flimsy looking. His nose is also stubbier, and his eyes are bugged out. Oh, and... Ugh, I don't want... Ugh. And he's now raising a hideous son. In ugh. Destroy All Monsters, he's slimmer, while his face appears more like it did in Astro Monster. Okay, that's he's better. put under alien mind control again, but once free of their control, he turns on them. For the next three sequels, his look remains consistent. In the first, he helps his son face off against a bull... Bro, enough with this son stuff. What is going on? However, this all takes place inside the dreams of a young boy, so... Oh, moving on. Next, in Godzilla vs. Hedora, he opposes a pollution monster, and when curled up like a shrimp, he can now fly backwards. Wow. In Godzilla vs. Gigan, Godzilla has gained... Yeah, I like Godzilla give out free smoke to everybody. He fighting everybody in their mother. I've heard like seven different names. The ability to speak oh. while his suit... Oh, no, oh. no, no, no! <laughs> Why is he talking? Play the video. Why are you making it awkward? What's, what's... Godzilla vs. Gigan. Godzilla has gained the ability to speak oh. while his suit... Uh, oops, I mean skin... starts ripping during his triumphant battle. Oh, wow. He appears slimmer in Godzilla vs. Megalon with a shorter neck, soft bright dorsal fins, and a round pig-nosed face. He boasts a long-distance dropkick but this movie... Yeah! <laughs> is that Showa? Nah, this is the best one. 1973 is my guy. Show that. Go back. And a round pig-nosed face. Tail, man. He boasts a long-distance dropkick, 
but this movie is mostly about a size-changing robot, so let's keep going. In the next two films, Godzilla has an angrier expression and more detailed muzzle. He uses a magnetic upgrade to protect an ancient god from Mecha Godzilla. Nice. And in the sequel, faces him once more. But this timeline, Godzilla is sent to retirement. And Reti how is he going to retire? Well, he got a whole family. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what series of Godzilla this is, but because it's Showa, I'm gonna let it breathe. But bro, cut it out. And nine Godzilla's a ruthless monster. He don't need none of the kid stuff. Years later, a reboot Godzilla. You know he don't get a family. He's like Batman. Pierce. It's tragic this one's every taller, time. Has larger dorsal fins, a fourth toe, and his fangs and ears make a return. Although his reign. Somebody like Godzilla don't deserve a happy ending. I'm just saying. Do we not forget what Godzilla originally was doing, destroying all cities? And yeah, bro, no, none of that. I don't care how much you defended. Look in the mirror and tell me how much you killed. Is short lived as he trips <laughs> into a volcano, deep. only to explode out in the sequel. He has a smaller head, a more muscular build, larger outer fins, and a cat like face with a secondary row of teeth. He takes on a giant plant monster who gets turned into glitter. In Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, his original form, the Godzillasaurus, is taken out of the 1940s and exposed to modern day radiation, turning him into a taller, muscular, wow. and angrier looking Godzilla. Wow. He bites Mecha King Ghidorah and then gets Mecha dumped King into Ghidorah. the ocean. In Godzilla vs. Mothra, he's thinner, his dorsal plates are rearranged, and his neck is more ribbed. His head is flatter, and he has golden eyes. He battles against Mothra and Batra, and once again is plunged into the ocean and locked. Oh, they stay put him in the water. Did you a lizard? And Mothra's Moth magical power. If you don't power. swim? But is somehow. That, in is that outside his range of abilities? Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla 2, he's back. He has slim down shoulders and slimmer legs. He's also raising a blue-toned baby Godzilla. This time he's defeated when his butt brain is destroyed, but it's easily revitalized just moments later. Did he just hump him into, into a rebirth? Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla features the bulkier original with less detailing in the neck and larger eyes, Godzilla Jr., like who is taller and chubbier with a greener color scheme, and a large flying blue crystallized Space Godzilla, who gets obliterated. In this timeline's final film, Godzilla is glowing orange, and his son now looks more like a hunched version of his father. When the original Big G Why is he so small? has a meltdown, his son absorbs the radiation and turns into the new Godzilla ready for action. But the series would be continually rebooted, dropping him altogether. The Dang. first American Godzilla like Godzilla been been through the trenches. Godzilla appears as a large mutated iguana with blue dorsal spines oh, and a hanging doodad. No. This Godzilla also has hundreds of tiny raptor-looking offspring, but this happy family is easily taken out by basic. So is Godzilla a girl? Explosives. Back in Japan, in Godzilla 2000, he appears shorter, with green jagged skin, sharp purple spines, and a reptilian looking face. Look like Shenron, bit. <laughs> While he's nearly swallowed whole, he's good to go for the. Hey, yo, the throw sound effect! Yo, wait. Again, being awkward, computer. Why y'all do this every time? Next reboot, Godzilla vs. Megaguirus, in which he's lighter, with a longer neck, and smaller mouth. He defeats a giant flying insect, and is then sent into a black hole. In giant monsters what? all- What, bro, what be happening to Godzilla? Don't worry, y'all, I'm paying attention. I see these designs, they're cool. I just really have nothing to say. About attack, Godzilla is formed by the ghosts of vengeful World War II victims. He has smooth charcoal colored skin, white Sorry. dorsal fins, and a hunched neck. His face is less lizard-like, with pure white eyes and no hey, yo, ears. He's a but this Godzilla arm. is mutilated by a drill missile, leaving only his beating heart behind. The following reboot, Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla, re-adds the jagged design elements and introduces like a more wolf-like face. In the climax, he's blasted by a beam, adding a visible scar to his chest for the sequel, Tokyo SOS, in which he's covered in silk and again flown into the bottom of the sea. Yo, they be doing him bad. Godzilla Final Wars features a taller, smoother, and more slender Godzilla with longer ears and red eyes. This Godzilla fights against a oh, multitude of tough. creatures, including an upright standing 98 Zilla. Then he and his hideous son head back to the ocean. His son is always so ugly, bro. Put Billy Bob Jr. to sleep, dude. Ocean. In Shin Godzilla, he's first shown as a light colored and armless. Ew, bro, don't show me that. Armless creature but quickly evolves, growing tiny arms and becoming more red with bloody accents. His massive main form is darker with a much longer tail that has a little face on the end. His Yo, nah, are, they, are they serious about that? Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? What? Are they serious about that? What is that? 
Jaw can unhinge and split apart, and he has a variety of handy new skills. He can also yeah, apparently this reproduce human crazy. hybrids from his tail tip, but he's given a freezing agent, ceasing his evolution. The anime trilogy depicts a muscular rounded Godzilla yeah, with a tree bark boy, like that, boy. <laughs> Like a Dragon Ball Z villain. 19,000 years later, he sports beard like spikes and grows to his largest on screen size, easily allowing. Yeah, what do they call from? Yo, that's a Shinigami. Him to become the ruler of Earth. Look like a, a character from. from <laughs> what's the thing called? The people that shoot from the sky. Bro, y'all know what I'm talking about. Meanwhile, back you in 2014, about, a plump American Godzilla. Hell divers appears this titan has jagged dorsal plates wide elephant like feet and noticeable gills he comes out of hiding to stop two hideous star-crossed lovers in godzilla king of the monsters sure that's not just an alligator he's taller and beefier his lower half looks less stubby his tail tip is more blunt and his dorsal fins are less sharp and artfully glowing later is given extra radiation and after ashes rain down on him he gets a fiery new look and power upgrade helping him to retain his kingly crown thank you for watching liking oh wow we didn't get into this oh yeah i forgot it's four years old well that was the evolution of godzilla i just want to do something a little fun for y'all a little bit of godzilla uh, Cause I ain't really watched no Godzilla in a little minute. But thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for watching. Let me know what else I should react to, Godzilla. And I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye.